Hi, this is Morgan from Spitfire Audio. In this tutorial, we'll be discussing how to import MIDI data from your notation program to your DAW. Many composers prefer to start the writing process in a notation software and then move to their DAW to create a more realistic sounding mockup using sample libraries. Today, I'll be using Sibelius as my notation program and Logic Pro as my DAW. Here, you can see that I've written a very simple example for string orchestra. Let's take a listen before we dive in. Now that we've taken a lesson, let's dive in. The first thing that you'll notice is that the score is complete. We have note data, dynamics and expression, slurs, tempo, a fermata. These are all basic qualities of music notation. Sometimes what can happen is that if we import all of these qualities of music notation in our MIDI file, it will not translate correctly when we're programming in our DAW. The first thing I'm going to do is duplicate this file so that I can make a MIDI friendly version. You can do this by right clicking and choosing duplicate. I prefer to rename this file example MIDI so that I'll know that this is the MIDI friendly file version. Once you've made a copy, open the file. The first thing that we need to do is select all and in Sibelius, filter for dynamics. You're going to delete all of those dynamic markings. The reason that we do this is that dynamic markings in MIDI files translate to volume automation, not expression and dynamics within a plugin or a sample library. The next thing we're going to do is remove the slurs that are seen here in the violin one part. I can do this in Sibelius also by filtering. Now that I've removed dynamics, expression, and the slur markings, all that we have left is pitch data, tempo, and this fermata here. Next, we want to open the mixer. I can do this in Sibelius on Mac by hitting the M key. You can see that by default, Sibelius has inputted panning information and has also set the faders to individual levels. We need to neutralize the information in the mixer to make this MIDI friendly. First, I'm going to set all of the panning information to zero. All of the faders must be set to volume 95. Volume 95 in Sibelius is equal to zero dB in any major DAW. Once I've neutralized my mixer information, we can go ahead and save this file. Now we're going to export a MIDI version. You can do this in Sibelius by going to File, Export, MIDI, and hitting the Export button. As you can see, now we have a MIDI file here. I'm going to right click this and select the DAW that I wish to open the MIDI file in. Now all of that data in our score has been inputted into Logic. First, I'm going to give a little bit of room here and a little bit of room here. This will make it easier to work with the regions. At the top, you'll see this track with a title region. You can delete this because it is not needed and does not include any MIDI data. Next, we want to set all of the MIDI out channels to all. If we open our mixer in Logic, you can see that Logic has automatically loaded default sampler instruments. It has also loaded default channel EQs. We can delete these. For this example, I will be using Spitfire Audio Appassionata Strings. I'm going to load an instance of Appassionata Strings in each track. I'm going to select the instrument that applies to that track within the plugin.
Now that I have loaded all the instances of Appassionata, I'm going to name my tracks accordingly. Now that we've named our tracks, let's take a listen. Already, that's sounding a whole lot better than it did in Sibelius. Here's a tip to add dynamics and expression information very quickly. First, select all the tracks, and then select R for record. Using a MIDI controller, I'm going to record dynamic and expression data simultaneously for all the tracks. This is a quick way to get dynamics and expression data on all of your tracks at the same time, making the passage more musical, without having to do too much work. Now you know how to import MIDI data from your notation program into your DAW to start programming beautiful mockups using Spitfire Audio Libraries. If you have any questions or run into trouble with this process, please feel free to reach out to our support team. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast, or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question, and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks, and exclusive Spitfire content.